Ladies and gentlemen, this is from our World News Headline Department. Boom! There's your headline. This is from nextbigfuture.com. And the title is, Collapse of Venezuela Government is a Matter When and Not If. I wonder if that's supposed to say a matter of when and not if. Well, whatever. So you see some, some nice pictures here. This is doing a little shopping. Just a little shopping for some, I don't know, containers or something. Oh, you got a fine display of containers here and uh, maybe some store signs. Store signs? Store signs? Ooh, store signs. Look, the lights are still on. See that? Commu, commu capitalism li lives. It's great. I think it's like commu capitalism or some weird hybrid that they're attempting down there. So here's the, here's the, the, the highlighted part here. The economic demise of the Soviet Union offers a likely scenario for Venezuela's future evolution. The financial crisis is likely to worsen because any significant change in policy would imply an admission by Maduro that his policies had been wrong. Would imply... Or excuse me, let me read that again. The financial crisis is likely to worsen because any significant change in policy would imply an admission by Maduro that his policies had been wrong, which would probably lead to his ouster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although he is uh, setting to arm his newly deputized thug force and trying to disarm everybody else. Thus, the budget def deficit, shortages, inflation, exchange rate fell, and public debt are likely to grow much worse. One alternative could be a preemptive political overthrow of the Maduro regime fueled by public discontent or that the rulers just flee the country. Dude, I'm thinking fleeing the country. Yeah, you might want to consider that. Another possible endgame would be that the country runs out of international currency re reserves and defaults on its foreign debt. Dude, you don't mess with your foreign debt because the foreign debt holders don't play. That would deprive Venezuela of all foreign credit and the natural consequence would be a complete collapse of imports and the exchange rate of the Bolivar. De Beliva, the country's currency. The Maduro regime is not likely to survive for long because it won't be capable of making the necessary adjustments that avoid abject economic misery for most of the population, and the pressure on it will eventually become intolerable. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if... If the Venezuelan people may find themselves acclimating to their new misery and, and find new levels of hierarchy that make people, all, all of them still relatively within a framework of misery, or for the most part, except for a very, very, very tiny leap few, that they may find a pecking order where, you know, maybe, maybe the new elites, not the elite of the elite, but maybe the new elites get uh, four loaves of bread a week <laughs> instead of one loaf of bread a month or whatever rations they're dealing with. I'm not sure whether the, the Venezuelan government is actually going to collapse anytime soon. I, I would imagine that it's Probably more likely that one of the major powers, whether it's the United States, China, Russia, will probably execute some sort of coup. They're going to need, probably going to need some sort of foreign aid, foreign intelligence, weapons, whatever the case might be. And there will be a cost. And the cost will be that you'll be beholden to whichever master rescued you. So I guess right now, who are the big players that would be interested in this? It would be Russia, China, the U.S. 
Man, I imagine Jaina would love to have have somebody in there that was friendly to China. Open up some ports to the Chinese, as as well as the Russians, and as, as, as well as America. So maybe behind the scenes there's already a secret battle going on in the intelligence world between the Chinese, the Americans, and the Russians to see who gets Venezuela because... Uh, they socialismed so much that they ended up making themselves a big, fat, easy target for one of the big boys.